Why is that smoke coming out the back? For, why couldn't the F-35A just have the size of the wings of the C? There's a there's like a carbon clutch that connects those two. For the auto ejection, and then as it settles back, he's back in and the thing kicks him out. There's three different F-35 versions. Here's how I keep it straight. There's the F-35A, B, and C, okay? The A goes to the Air Force. The C goes to C, so it's with the Navy. And then the B buzzes around like a bee, so that's the vertical one. So this is the this is the F-35B that we're talking about. Yeah, speaking of uh, the hard landings, the uh, F-35 the other day, the Bravo. The, uh, oh, yeah. Mission. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Look at yeah. the video. Here we go. Yeah. Look at that. Why is that smoke coming out the back? Everybody else notice that? Yeah, yeah. That's like just, on the initial... Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it, once the motor, like, ah. rotates in the vertical, you kind of you kind of see, see it. Like, yeah, like right yeah, there when it's hovering. Yeah. I yeah, wonder if that was like a vape or some kind of like environmental condition or if that's... I'll give you really. my theory Yeah. when this is over. So for the uh, for the listeners who are tuning in and don't know, uh, there's three different F-35 oh, versions. Um, here's how I keep it straight. There's the F-35A, B, and C, okay? The A goes to the Air Force. The C goes to C, so it's with the Navy. And then the B buzzes around like a B, so that's the vertical one. So this is the this is the F thirty five B that we're talking about. Uh, that's the only way I can keep the three of them straight. Bender, you probably uh, you fly the F thirty five A, so you you probably have a more uh, professional way to keep those straight. But... Is it like Fat Amy, Fatter Amy, Fatter Amy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. I don't yeah. know. can fold their wings. That's that's about all I. But they, uh, those are big lost. wings. I mean, wouldn't you yeah. like those wings look like they would uh, they would do you some good? Those big old fat C model wings. The problem is yeah. you lose gas and you lose, you know. Weapons. Well, I'm saying if the, and this is why I was like, you know, you go back to like, well, for, why couldn't the F-35A just have the size of the wings of the C? Like, I don't care if it folds or any of that crap. I just want the the wing design. Like, why do we why do we take the B wings and put it on the A and not the C style? But. Uh, yeah, I have a long list of what ifs. <laughs> what ifs. <laughs> Why does my canopy open backwards? Like, blame oh, the Marines. Blame yeah. the Marines. It's yeah. pretty much for everything. Yeah, yeah. this thing right here, this fifth generation hovering fighter doing helicopter things. Like, jets are not meant to hover. That was I saw it in a group chat. I got when this happened. Like, yep, it's like the it's like the scarier. I've seen enough scarier landings to last a lifetime yeah. when I was uh, in the Marines. Hey, if you bring up bring up the other picture of the F thirty five B like powertrain, not that one. Uh, That's oh, yeah. pretty cool. Here we go. Well, here's the powertrain. Yeah. Okay, so here here's my theory, complete theory. Um, you so Vader, you mentioned that that puff of smoke, and then you saw it kind of the it lost power in the front. And that or increased power in the back. Well, we know it probably didn't increase power in the back because it's it's in the mode it's in, right? And that, that is a significant power differential that caused it to do that. So what I think happened is it had a a slightly hard landing. So you, you saw it bounce a little bit off the deck. And what I think happened, if you look at the forward duck fan, there's a that shaft, that forward shaft that connects it to the front of the, the turbine engine. There's a there's like a carbon clutch that connects those two. So what I think happened is the hard landing uh, broke that part of the drive shaft. And then when it broke, that got in two things happened. It got ingested into the engine, which is where the smoke came out the back. And then because it's no longer connected to the engine, the duct, the forward duct fan is no longer producing lift. And that's where the jet kind of does its thing. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Because you do see, yeah, you see the smoke, and then you see it, poof, yeah, right there. So now I'll, uh, Bender, you want to you want to weigh in, or you want me to speculate wildly before you weigh in? <laughs> I'm just gonna speculate wildly as well. So, but I think I think Paco's probably right. My my guess is that there, or someone that I've talked to who does the depot maintenance for these, so they, he thinks that there was a, that front fan failed kind of end game of the landing. And that's what caused that hard landing. And then as it's failing, you get more of the thrust out of the back back end, which tips it over forward. And then there are parameters for the auto ejection. So it, it's auto ejection, right? So if certain things happen in an F-35B, then the, the pilot gets kicked out. He, did, he didn't, I don't know whether or not he pulled the handle in this particular case or, or whether he was auto ejected, but if- Does the A have that? Does the A no, have an auto? Wow. They don't trust the Marines, huh? 
<laughs> no, it's, I mean, it's for that exact reason, for a failure at the end game of a hover where he doesn't have time to get Interesting. out. Interesting. I didn't know that. So I think the question, I don't know, but my I think he's outside of the parameters for ejection when it tips like that for the auto ejection. And then as it settles back, he's back in and the thing kicks him out. That makes sense. Uh, but I don't know. It could be that, you know, he ended up pulling the handle eventually. I'm not exactly sure, but that's that's kind of the going theory – uh, and wildly inappropriate speculation going on. At yeah, that's right. <laughs> Buckle up. It's only going to get worse. So, uh, <laughs> so I talked to a dude who he used to be in the Navy, so he's an expert, obviously. Uh, but what he was saying, and I've been told this before, that once the F-35B gets into that kind of hover mode, that the the control stick is you push forward, and then that's your up-down. Like that is how you start your descent is like a slight push forward on the controls. And what he was saying is if there's some like reversion in logic, like once it touched down and there was weight on wheels, it went back to trees get bigger, trees get smaller. And so he touches down, he bounces. And as any pilot does, is like, no, 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 land. And then it's like, oh, and the nose dipped over. Uh, so we'll find out soon and we probably won't be able to share the true uh, what actually happened because it'd be safety privilege. But right now we can just say stuff because we haven't been yeah. briefed. That's so. right. We don't know anything. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. hey, hey, Rain, we've been, we've been going a little bit over an hour and I don't know how many people are, uh, are still even awake <laughs> or paying attention. I'm happy to keep going because uh, we can chat. We can chat for as long as you want. The world's our oyster. They can leave. There's still people here. All I right. think uh, we probably could wrap up on the, on the F 35 here, unless anyone has some viewer questions, but, you know, I think with the F-35 thing important, like one, obviously all the stuff we just said was pure speculation, which I think we hate doing outside, especially in the public. Who knows what will happen? It was awesome to see the seat work. I assume he's doing okay. But if we just really peel back this onion with speculation and do some root cause analysis, I think we all can agree the problem here was we tried to make a fifth generation fighter do helicopter things. So that's right. If we, if we didn't do that, we that's wouldn't right. be talking about this right now. So thank you hey, for the canopy bow. And then your gear comes up slower now, doesn't it, Bender? you got like one less hydraulic pump or something because they got to be able to do that i don't know helicopter stuff. it's possible what well, there are two things that come with the b model one is we got the canopy bow in the a model because of the b model because of the that second fan right there whatever so i don't know why they can put that thing on a b model and not on my jet but somehow we all had to have a canopy bow that doesn't make any sense to me but we got one uh and then the other thing we have because of the b model is we all wear um even though I don't have auto ejection, I have to wear a special flight suit that connects my arms to the seat to pull my arms in. There's no reason to have it in the A model. Um, it's just because the flight suit came with it in the B model. Now we're all required to wear it. So thank you Marines for those two things. Uh, <laughs> I don't like them. The one good thing though we got from the C model is the landing gear is pretty beefed up. So, I mean, we don't even have the C models landing gear. Ours isn't as beefy as theirs, but it's way beefier than a Viper's. And so you can just land this thing. It doesn't even matter. You like yesterday I had my check ride. So, you know, you have to land within the first thousand feet. So my technique is just like plant the thing at 300 feet so that I don't buy a downgrade or whatever. And I did, I just didn't, I didn't flare at all. I just aimed for the runway and smacked it down and I couldn't feel a thing. It's awesome. You don't feel anything. Every <laughs> landing, great landing. And I like that about the F-35. That I love is nice. Bender's candor. It just <laughs> it opens yeah. up. We haven't even mentioned, you know, for those listening, I mean, you're sitting in front of a wall of leather bound books. <laughs> it smells yeah. like rich mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite impressive. 